Hello, Team Beautifully Polished. This is Debbie. We are here for Wednesday training. I'm coming in a few minutes late. Sorry, um, right at 12 o'clock, of course, they came to deliver my salt for my well. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, anyways, we are here today to kind of follow up with um, our team call on Monday night, which is about sponsoring. As you guys know, it's a sponsoring month because we are offering a great promotion for new stylists. Um, if you did not catch Monday's call, please make sure you go back and watch the replay because we got, gave a lot of great tips about um, growing your business if you if that's something you choose to do. Um, so today I wanted to go a little bit deeper into just kind of giving you um, some steps to do with people when you are talking about the business. I know, again, like we said the other day, we went through kind of the, the feelings some of you guys have and the doubts and the... You know, I know it's easy for us to say, go out there and tell people about it. Um, so we went through a bunch of those myths. So what do you do when you um, reach out to people? So I want to give you some steps of what you can do um, in order to follow through with that. So the first thing is, where are you getting the people from? Who are you talking to? Um, so you can get them from a variety of places. Everybody on this team, when you signed up, hopefully made a Frank list. Frank meaning a list that stands for your friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and people you know um, because of your kids. So I want you to get on a notebook. I want you to make that list if you have not. This should be your ongoing list that you keep for all, all your business. When you do a launch party, when you need to reach back out to people, you have a lull in your calendar. Um, maybe you're adding people to that list because all of a sudden you think of people outside the box. Go through and start putting five people in each column, then five more people until that list keeps getting bigger. Go back to it. Sometimes, I know I've given this example many times. When I started mine, you know, you think of the people you talk to right away. But then you think of, um, so let's say you have your neighbor, but then you're friends with your neighbor's sister. Oh, yeah, and you're friends with your brother's college roommate or your sister's high school friends. I'm kind of opposite in those, so that's why I thought of that one. But um, you know, you think of those next tier people that you could put on that list. So you can refer to your Frank list when reaching out to people. You can refer to nail bar guests, um, whether Facebook or online, vending events, or people through social media that you've been building relationships with, all right? So I'm challenging you this week, yes, I'm giving you a challenge already, um, instead of at the end, to reach out to 10 new people this week whether it's from your Frank list, your previous um, nail bar guests, whether it's um, previous hostesses, somebody from vending events. I don't care, but I want you to reach out to 10 people and not just tell them about the nails. So I want you to message them something like this. When you, so your first step is getting the people you're gonna contact. Your second step is what are you gonna say to them, right? So I want you to send a message with these three parts in it. A compliment, then a little bit of your why, and then a question. Okay, so let's talk about that for a minute. Um, your compliment. Um, maybe your compliment's gonna be, oh my gosh, I'm, you are so amazing at social media. Oh my gosh, maybe you were just with them. I had so much fun with you last night. Um, maybe it's, um, I love hanging out with you. Maybe it's, um, God, you're so good with numbers. Um, maybe it is, you know, um, you are so good with other people. Um, you are such a motivated person. Something, again, that is true and real about what you know of that person, but that is a compliment to them to the business. Then you just a quick sentence about why you do it. Maybe it's um, something about, I'm able to pay for my son's college with, with college um, payment with um, my color street money. Maybe it's, um, I just bought a new hot tub um, with my Color Street money. Maybe it's, do you know I'm able to pay all my vet bills, which my vet bills are very expensive. I have a very expensive dog, darn it. <laughs> um, so maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's, um, I'm able to, I was able to take my family on spring break. So something about your why. I'm able, I love the fact that I work with other women. Something about a why and then a question. Again, we talked about this the other night, but when you end with a question, they're more apt to give you a response than if you just let me know if you want to talk, period, okay? So let's kind of talk about, so with those questions, it might be, um, have you considered doing what I do? 
Would you like to get paid to share these? Um, what would you do with an extra thousand dollars a month? Um, would you like to hear more about what I do? Anything in that realm that gets them to come back to you about the business. So an example of a post could be something like, um, I love watching all the posts about your children on Facebook. Not sure if you've heard that I'm selling Color Street. It's helped me paying for Logan's College. Uh, I'd, lo I'd love Tech Brands to do it with me. Um, have you ever considered doing what I do? Again, you're kind of relating, she has kids to what I'm doing with, with my kids with my Color Street money. Maybe it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna reach out to a customer and you might say something like, you are such an amazing customer. One of my favorite things about Color Street is the fun I have when I show new people um, our product for the first time. It's like magic. How would you like to get paid for sharing these two? Simple, she's already a customer. You know she already loves them if she's a regular customer. So it could be something like that. So think of something again with your three parts. You are giving them a compliment, telling them a quick why of what you're doing and asking a question. It's three sentences, that's all it needs to be. Doesn't need to be any longer. Once they respond back, your next step is see if you can schedule a call. I realize not everybody, I, you know, I talk to certain people on the phone, but sometimes it's uncomfortable. We back away from that personal touch of, or the personal contact. We'd rather be through social media or something. Um, but remember, it's powerful, and it's powerful because you can answer all their questions at once. I think I keep looking at the screen. I never know if I'm supposed to look at the camera or the screen. So if I feel like, I feel like my eyes are everywhere today, sorry. Um, so anyways, if you, if you can get them on the phone, you can answer everything all at once, and it's not back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And they can hear your excitement, just like the difference of a social media nail bar to an in-person nail bar. You are with that person, you're in front of them at the time, it's just a little bit different than the person, the online nail bar, who doesn't see the magic and see everything exciting happen. So if you can get them on the call, this is what I want you to do. You might say something like, um, if they respond back and say, oh, I've never thought about that before, or yeah, maybe that is something I'd be interested. Oh my gosh, I'd be happy to chat with you and answer any questions you may have. Can you chat at two o'clock today? And again, you're asking a question. You're giving a time. It's not great what time works good for you. Give them a time that you have and let them respond back to you, okay? So now they're answering back to you. So you schedule a call with them, you get on the phone. Again, this is an easy conversation, you guys. Good salespeople, again, and I know this is hard and it's a skill I have to work at very, very hard. Um, I tend to be the person who bleh, who's talks and talks. Good salespeople stay quiet. Good salespeople rely on the other person because I, I don't know if you guys have heard the saying, the first person who talk loses. <laughs> um, if you're if you are with it, if you are trying to make that sale with somebody, um, if you talk first, then they say that you've lost. If you're the salesperson or the customer, let them do the talking. Um, you should be doing about 20% and you should be doing about 80% listening, okay? So, um, you get them on the phone and you may just want to share your story for a minute. Oh my gosh, I got started in this a couple years ago because I was really just trying to find something different because my kids were getting older and didn't need me any, anymore. I can't believe what it has done for me. I never dreamed that it would pay for this, this, and this. Um, I never dreamed of the confidence I would gain in the feelings that I have from all the new exciting skills that I taught myself. I love owning my own business. I feel so empowered. Um, and then say, I, you know, do you have any questions about what I do? I'd love to answer anything. I'm an open book. And then wait, okay? Just wait, let them ask you. Give them a second, pause, they'll talk, but you gotta give them a second to talk because right now they're thinking through because you just told them how you feel empowered, you've told them um, you've paid for this, this, and this, you've told them, well, you were kind of trying to get something on your own. I told them all that stuff about myself. They have to process that for a second, relate it to themselves mm -hmm. of how that can relate to them and then they can think through questions. Well, how did you pay for that vacation you said you paid? How much money do you make? Or, well, tell me what skills you've learned, or what do you have to do to run your own business? How much does it cost? So those are questions. Once they process what you've told them about you, they can ask back and you can, ask, and you can answer them. 
So again, you are just allowing this time to go back and forth of you answering questions. Um, so then when you're all done with that, again, no pressure at all. You don't, you don't wanna sit there and say, okay, you ready? Let's sign up today. Okay, we're done. No, when you're done, say, okay, great. Well, I'm gonna send you some info and I'll check back with you in a couple days and see what you think. So that's when you can then send them, you know, the written comp plan, so they're not just hearing about it. You can send them the, um, the hostess information. You know, if they've been a hostess, they may know, but that's okay. Jump Street and maybe the 20 reasons why. Send them a little bit of information, not too much, or you'll get them an overload. Then make sure, you know, you had said to them, and then I'll check up with you. So you've told them you're going to follow up with them. So now you've got to make sure you follow up. Okay, so you've sent them. You could also send them, as we mentioned the other day, to the opportunity group or to a catch the vision call um, or the information. But then you got to make sure if you send them to the opportunity call and the workshop is the next day, then check in with them the next day. Oh my gosh, what did you think about the opportunity group? Um, what questions can I answer for you now? Oh, did you have time to look over the paperwork I had for you? They may not respond. You know, they maybe they haven't had a chance to look at it, and that's okay. Again, we don't want to push these people. We want people who want to be here, right? So if you pressure them into being here, well, what's the point? Because then they're, they're going to come in, and they're not going to do anything anyway. We want someone who wants to come in and wants you to teach them the business. They're the fun people to have. So, so don't pressure them into it. See if they were able to check in the videos. No big deal. And if they didn't, then if they say they didn't, okay, great. Um, I would like, do you want me to check in with you in a, in a couple more days to give you some time to watch them, okay? If they're not ready, that's all right. Keep that relationship going with them. If your friends on Facebook, you can be commenting back and forth. You can be, um, you know, messaging them occasional things about the business. Keep the relationship up. They'll be watching you, and you never know if they'll come back. For those of the, those of people who do watch the video or do get in the group or do look at the stuff, then you're answering the questions that they have. All right? Um, so though, that's kind of the key things I want you to work on this week with 10 people. So let's go over those again. First, you got to pick out the people you're going to call. So if you do not have a frank list, you're making a frank list. Or you're going back to previous customers, hostesses, people who have commented on your social media posts through um, about Color Street, picking 10 of them. You're going to text them with a compliment, something about your why, and a question. Hopefully, they're going to respond back. Out of 10, you may get some that don't, and that's okay. Don't worry. If they respond back, if they are interested, you schedule a call with them. All right? You get on the call. You allow them. You tell them a quick, brief story of what got you in it. Again, this is about them, not you. Then let them ask you any questions that they may have. All right? You tell them you're going to send them some info or send them to a group, send them on a call, check up with them in a couple days. So then in a couple days, you're following up and then see where it goes from there. If, if you follow up, you may need to do a few follow-ups. They may not jump in right then and that's okay. It may be someone who wants to jump in right then. And it may be someone that you're building relationship with over time. And maybe they never sign up, but maybe they become your best advocate and your best customer and your best hostess. You never know. So. Um, that is my advice for you today with sponsoring. Again, we have this amazing sponsoring promotion going on right now, you guys. So they get those five extra sets. So try this technique this, work, this week. Ten people, reach out to them, and let's hear how it goes. So if, if you have any results, you can put it in the comments of this live so we can hear how things are going and get each other excited and motivate each other because it's always great when you get that text that says, yeah, I'd love to hear more about it, okay? All right, so good luck with that. I, it doesn't show me comments on here. I don't know why. They don't show live to see if there's any questions. Let me just look on my phone. I don't know why. Um, it's almost like a delayed thing. Um, I don't know. I can't seem to find you guys on my phone. Okay, well, if you have questions about it, just make sure you can put it underneath here, or underneath. Um, we go. I don't know. Oh, there I am live. Okay. Oh, Tracy said hi. That's my comment. <laughs> hi, Tracy. So okay. To see if there's any questions on my phone. Okay. Well, All right. Oh. All right. 
Okay, you guys, so that is all I have for you today. So let's hear how you do with these 10 people. I want to hear some follow-up. I'd love to. And if you get through 10 and no one wants to, guess what? Challenge yourself to do 10 more, okay? It's okay if you hear 10 no's. Do not worry about it. And just get on to your next 10. Somebody will respond and want to hear more. All right, so everybody have a great day. Happy Wednesday. And I will see you guys next week.